Hello and welcome back to another episode of Wastelands uh, 3. We just got ourselves in a big massive fight here. It is episode number 6 and maybe we're going to get the next uh, death. Uh, so far we only had one in the entirety of this blind playthrough but I couldn't withstand uh, the chance of just yeah uh, triggering and uh, annoying these enemies enough so we're going to have a nice little uh, shootout today and that is where we're starting Murphy is the first to act nightclub goons come in at 330 that's a lot of damage let's start unfortunately not a crit elsewise this would have been a nice little kill Central took a lot of damage. Can he heal himself with that? The answer is yes. Doesn't cure the burning, but cures a lot of the other things. <coughs> and that big red guy is a problem because he is having a flamethrower. So, this is a hard fight, a tough one, which means we want, I should have smoked the cigarette, which means we want to make sure that we are getting as much leverage against them as possible. This sounds like a really good start. Explosives help, is what they say. Oh boy, someone has a tantrum back there. Let me take care of that. All right, quite literally an hour later, my little one is finally asleep and we can go back to the fight. In the meantime, let's reassess. We got two privateers, lower level back here, level one and two. But a couple of high level guys here, specifically that pit boss. That's a bit, uh, bad omen for us. And we can hit all four of them with a nice little Molotov. Fabulous. Very good. So, Central. Yes, unfortunately, is in a tough spot, man. Continues to heal himself. We just can't afford going down. And hunkers down because we're being attacked from both sides. Good. Are we focusing on that nightclub goon or are we getting a bartender down? Marshall here begins to heal himself and we could deal with both of these guys. Decent chance. It's a good combo. They're almost down. All right, fires a handgun, 50% chance to hit. Let's try that. Uh, that was unfortunately a miss. Very unfortunate. All right, we got three AP left. Could hit the big red. Or any of the night uh, club goons. I think we're just focusing fire trying to get these guys down charge up this ability thundering strike a 
Okay, let's try the Thundering Strike. I haven't seen that yet. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Well, I think that was uh, quite impressive. Holy smokes. The guy is nothing but tissues. All right, let's see what the enemy is uh, cooking. Oh, wow. We're taking a lot of damage here. Not surprising. Luckily, that fire is helping us out a lot. Good, we gotta get a few of these guys down. How did we get that much damage on Hogbite? Alright, central. Gets her up. She is a lame lag now. Oh, that's not great. Right. But... We heal. And one of that same problem again. And Central also heals himself. Down to 2 AP. Which we could use in order to change. Alright, Murphy. The Nico Pops are great, but... We need to first of all get that nightclub goon down. This guy needs to die as well, the bartender. Good. That's the setup we can work with because now this is a kill. Oh, come on, game, really? 14 hit points? Are you kidding me? What do we have here? Berserker Rage. Massive critical uh, strike chance increased. Ramos. Heals himself. Gets that guy down. <clears throat> and we need to take something over for next round. We move to here, that opens us up for all of these guys. Not great. There is no winning here. Well, there is winning, but there are no winning uh, moves. Sucker Punch, Quick Attack. Now nah, we're we're getting that pit boss down. Oh yeah, baby. Central can move to here. This guy is a problem. Taking over ability points to the next round.
This is a pro that's a big problem. Lucia definitely needs to get back. Lots of guys coming in here. What a big, messy fight uh, this is. Big Red is currently not harming anyone. Sounds crazy, I know, but... On the other hand, we could take him down. His armor is shattered. Central revives. Lucia definitely needs a better place to stay. Central will hear her. And I think we need alternatives. Hawkbite moves over. And that goon here is going to take a big nap. Uh, sucker punch, quick attack, deals less damage. No, we're just dealing normal damage. Here we go. That's 80 points of damage. That's actually not too bad. We can't get down again uh, because then Lucia would effectively die. So can't let that happen. Uh, that would wait that would be an option the other option is hit all of these guys I think that would be a fantastic option everyone is suppressed healing oh, these guys have a lot of hit points focus on that nightclub goon Quong cannot move so we're just going to wait and prepare. They are nicely slowed down and we're hitting them. Fantastic. Can we close the door somehow? No. Not really. Only 50 points of damage. That's not great. It's not great at all. If she hunkers down, she gains evasion. 
I think this here wouldn't be too bad. Gets her into some sort of cover. This would be no cover, so we're taking some sort of cover, even though it means that we're burning. Mid-fight level up. Uh, what are the perks? If you take the target twice in a row with the sword revel, second is always a critical hit. That could uh, be helpful, but that's the sword rifle. Sprain prey is what we do have available for five points, or pun uh, puncturing shot. And I like the puncturing shot; that has worked very well. But I also like Goofer Hunter a lot. But that's only with the sword rifles, right? So gain 15% damage with submachine guns while it's not in cover, which would be exactly what we're currently where we currently find ourselves. Um, good. Tears up an enemy with twice as many SMG bullets that you normally attack. Okay, so let's... He's an SMG guy. I like the puncturing shot. That... I'm not sure if that's only with SMGs. Don't think so. Uh, could use this here to hit him, but that would be lower damage. I think we want to use that. Nah, we're focusing on a single character. But the suppression worked well, he missed. We're taking a lot of hits. Okay, we're getting hawkbite up. Hawkbite could heal himself or could deal a lot of damage. We'll think about that in a second. does not have enough AP. We need to get these guys down. Hmm. Difficult decision.
Ah, that unfortunately missed. Both of the shots missed. Very unfortunate. Alright, Sniper, can we get uh, the groupie here? With a crit, yes, but what's our chance to crit, really? What's our chance to crit? Sneak damage, hit chance, 30%. We are okay, we could do that now, because we uh, only need to reload next turn. There we go, that was the crit I was hoping for, which prompts a reload, right? Oh, reload is 4 AP. Well, we're going to here, take that one over for next turn. Okay, Hogbite is in a pinch here. I don't like it. But Central is standing even worse. Really poor positioning there. Blocked by our own cats and dogs. Do some puncturing shots. We're continuing with healing ourselves. Crouch is down, simply because that gives evasion. And since we're not coming for any form of cover anytime soon, might as well crouch down. And Take one over for next turn. Quan moves into safety. Move into cover. How much is reloading? Four. Hmm. <sighs> that sucks, but I think we gotta do it because we need the weapon damage next turn. So I'll hand that over. And that forces us to heal with Hawkbite. The armored guys are taking all of the beating. Wow. Unbelievable. That's unreal. guys are at ultra high level. I don't like where this is going. Uh. 
I don't like where this is going at all. Quan heals himself. We're now out, almost out of uh, healing options. Begins to reload. And we got precision strike for next round. Wow, the robot. Come on. Really? Good hit. I like that. But we're now officially out of ammunition with our sniper. Hogbite heals himself. Finishes this guy. And Lucia unfortunately just cannot stand there. Moves to here, reloads her pistol, we gotta get central back as soon as possible, 2 AP. Enough to take over for next round. Whoa, 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 whoa. Just too many enemies. Holy moly. But revives. Can't really take any of their animals because they don't have animals. Lucia heals herself. Takes cover. Central steadies himself, which is good. Out of ammo. Um, well. So you guys want to play rough? Huh? You want to play rough? I show you how to play rough. that way fantastic good shotgun it is and boy are we going to let it rip
Haven't guessed that our sniper would uh, <laughs> pull out his shotgun. But uh, desperate times, my friends, desperate times. Spotted. Fabulous. One down. Hogbart moves up. And we're taking actions over. This might have been the turn. Might have been the round where it turns. Either way, it's definitely a super close fight. Oh boy, we gotta get rid of that bartender there. Four AP could reload, not great. Reloading, sniper is back in action. Can't mark, can't do anything else. Bit of a sitting duck there. Sentry heals himself, let's hope that that is enough. Ramos could reload. Might not be the worst choice of action. We're taking over that two AP. Not a great turn, but... That bartender needs to die. But this guy here needs to die even more. We're being really dragged into a super hard fight, but I'm unwilling to give up. Not yet. Hog bite. Stays in the combat. I like that. Fifty fifty, let's go. Uh, not what I was hoping for.
Dang it, that would have been a 90% shot to hit. Should have moved first. extra burning here and there. I like that. Lucia's healing. And we're going to go into actual cover. Central cannot go down again. Central moves here. Good hit. Lovely. Absolutely fantastic. He hunkers down. Bartender moves up and I think has done a massive blunder uh, by losing his cover we have the action advantage action economy advantage but that's going to be a pricey fight we have used all of our all of our items Oh yeah, Hogbite is cleaning house. Fantastic. Oh boy, what a massive, massive fight. <laughs> the closest one that we had, but I refuse to get death number two in. Death number one was by sheer stupidity. Well, no, I didn't know the game, but that was a tip-top fight. Oh my lord, junk, couple of dice, bit of healing stuff, brawling weapons. Oh yeah, level 10 auto shotgun. Hell yeah. Uh, pretty nasty customers. Requires small arms. Love it. Because I learned just how valuable shotguns are in this last encounter. <laughs> That's a good shotgun. Beautiful. Beautiful. This was so tight that I needed to level up during the fight. Armor modding would be good, I think, but Animal Whisperer wouldn't be bad either. Uh, what is this spirit perk, by the way? Animal Companions provide you with better passive bonuses. Mm, sounds good. So we're doing that. Could get up melee combat. What exactly is the next perk? Taking the same target twice in a row with a blade weapon. Ooh. All right, uh, we're getting that. Thank you.
Okay, cool. Got some ammo. We're definitely saving the game because who knows? All the comforts of a home. Do we have food? Yes, we do. So who needs healing? You do. Good, our heavy weapons guy. Let's give you a little bit of this. And a bit of that. Very good. More alcohol for the melee. Fantastic. Still don't know what that special... What that special grenade here did. We're going to find out I suppose. Our sniper continues to chain smoke. Murphy that fits him. The only thing that he has left over for cancer, for lung cancer, are a couple of snarky commons. Good, we got a nice little machine turret. Uh, fast lever transforms this into a full bullet spraying menace. Oh. Deploys a robotic machine turret that will attack. I like that. Permanently increases sneaky. A shotgun, bit of stuff. Helmet and a weapon mod. Okay, wait, 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 wait. So for starters, the guy who is doing sneaky, sneaky. Murphy is reading this, which means his skill, sneaky, sh is just increased by one. Ah, uh, huh. we should wait until the end. Because then the upgrade costs are higher. Okay, learn something. It happens. Other people would reload. I am just learning something. Requires lock picking five, which we do not have. The sleek cut marshal looks like he's in the mid-thirties, on his open face. Hey, Delgado. Bet you thought Daisy forgot all about you. Quan, how'd you get past the guards? Are these the rangers? That's right. Daisy sent it's us to find Daisy. you. Always takes care of her people. I appreciate you coming in here to bust me out. Didn't think anybody could take down Farron Brigo. I bet you could teach the marshals a thing or two. How did you get captured? I've been keeping an eye on Brigo for a while. He's a survivor. Likes to play both sides to make sure he always wins. After the Dorsey raid, I started asking questions about the club. Well, I guess I got too close to the truth. They grabbed me, dragged me in here, and locked the door. Took my weapon and everything. Good thing you came along. Did they hurt you at all? Uh, they know better than to hurt a marshal. Though, after all this, I'm starting to think maybe I should have known better. Well, what are you going to pay me to keep quiet? Quan, <laughs> always the kidder. Um, you are kidding, right? <laughs> Don't worry, Delgado. Your secrets are safe with me. Will do. Hope I see you again, Rangers. Good. 
Lock picking five would be great, but we don't have that. But we did get a usable item, which is these small turrets. I like that. And instead of yellow snow, how about you're planting a couple of those turrets in the future? Sounds like a plan, doesn't it? You're kidding me, right? Okay, well... Are all of the weapons reloaded? That's question number one. The answer is no. And we're out of ammunition for... a case or... Uh, sword rifle. So what we're going to do is we're going to craft exactly that. What are they running? 762 millimeter ammunition. Okay. Reloads. Wait, 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 wait. Shotgun needs reloading. Okay, and instead of having no second weapon, you're taking one of the other weapons. Yeah, you take a shotgun. Good. Even though you can't work with them. Better than nothing. Murphy moves there. Hopbite already moves there. I hope that this is not going to be a huge problem. I'm going to find out in a moment. But I sincerely hope it is not. This gal here is preventing us from leaving, so I'm just trying to make sure we're okay. <laughs> She's frozen. I love it. Okay, so at least that works. Reloading costs too many AP. Hogbite moves up. Prepares an ambush just in case she comes around. Let's get his legs. I want him slowed. And we're hitting. Marshall hits him. 
Ramos moves up. And very much hits him. Fantastic. Good. I don't think there are going to be a lot of enemies. Uh, at least I hope that that is the case. No fighting on the premises. Central moves up. Nice little hit, I like that. And Hogbite is moving up. Hunker's down, I don't want him to tank her. Ramos moves up. Oh, that would hurt. But we're not going to do it. Just going to set up an ambush. And Murphy hits her well. There we go. Fantastic. Listen, I don't want to touch anyone here. We're going to get out of all of this. What an absolute monster fight that was I needed to pull all of the levers that I had we're going to go right back to the dock are going to get some big fat healing I need new heal kits I need everything so monetarily I think that whole uh, fight was not worth it at all <clears throat> in terms of Going with it, Ramos needs better chances to hit. That's correct. That's good. I like the heavy weapons. They are great. What's the next perk? Uh, level 8, 20% evasion, 10 hit chance in low cover. Are we already near 8? Almost. So yeah, we're continuing to upgrade, not even a question. I like that, it's a great ability. Suppressor fire was just awesome. That extra speed is cool, that's not bad. More hit points would be nice for him. Targets an area with your rocket launcher and fires into the air. Rockets falls down. Bombards the area one turn later. Ah, not really. That is nice. That is very nice. 33 chance to just get grenades and grenades are good. Uh, duck and cover isn't bad either. I like what I'm seeing. Field stripping now has a chance of providing weapon mods. That's not bad either. Entire party finds more ammo. I really like uh, that steady shot and I think I'm just going to wait until we get it. It's okay, it's not so burning. The other things are all good, don't get me wrong. But that steady shot, super good. Oh. 
the dog has just disappeared. That's unfortunate. Well, we do have him in our uh, in our HQ, so I'm just taking a wild guess. I'm just having a wild guess that we can actually work with him uh, once we're back. Sell junk, which is good. Um, the weapons could be dismantled, or how much do they go for? Really not that much. I think in terms of efficiency... If we field strip, how much is one of those things? Uh, two? Really? Five? Mm. But the question is... Is five Welcome scraps back, better or here you go, children. Salvation is at hand. How much do we get for that? That's eight. I would almost say five scraps is better than eight dollars. Yeah, the lower level weapons, I think we can strip them. The higher level weapons we might be able to sell. Ones that have a low price, they are the ones that we should strip. How much do we get from... Ah, oh, we can't even strip armor. I see. Okay. Welcome back, children. Had another here you go, children. Salvation is at hand. Good fuse laser. Oh, that's actually not bad uh, money. Level five brawling weapon. That Sadomaso gear that we found. Although the helmet is, uh, the fellow's helmet is <laughs> worth 20, I'm not going to sell it. No, no, no. It has some idealistic value to me. That one is nice. Kit includes everything. Needs to make a melee weapon more pointy and scary. 50% chance to apply bleeding. I like that. We're going to keep it. Skill books, of course, are expensive, but we're not going to sell any of them. That would be ludicrous. And we're leaving the crafting components alike. Okay, cool. So. Now, what we need is a little bit of that. And whilst we're at it, to be fair, a little bit of that. Okay, cool. Well, that was expensive, but necessary. Got enough injury kits as well, because we do have injuries, so we can't fight like that forever. Alright, let's see. 
Um, I mean, yeah, we could buy ammunition. Fifty ammo would cost a hundred. Ouch, that's a lot. Um, since I'm just thinking about it, so submachine guns, heavy machine guns. That's a nice sword rifle. 510? Yeah, you wish. Level 11 submachine gun. I think... Nah. Look, we could buy super good equipment here, but in reality, that's... That's just not going, uh, going to be it. We're instead crafting ammo, because uh, that's the easiest way to get to it. Craft a hundred ammo. Which is okay. We're still okay with our cra uh, with our materials. So we're fine. Good. Time to get back uh, to the marshals. And after all of that... We'll just give you a beer. Good, we gave them something to drink and that's it. Now they're drunk. Okay, fantastic. Broke the lore. Okay, so let's report in and see what Sheriff uh, says. That was one hell of a sneaky way to get Brigo to surrender. Round of applause for the Rangers, Marshal. I hear you keeping Brigo in Ranger Locker, and I won't say I ain't disappointed. I wanted him here, but at least that shitty nightclub is shut down. Now folks will know what'll happen if they lay hands on a Marshal. Your lawkeeper's after my own heart. Around here, we always remember who our friends are. Now, I said I'd owe you a favor if you took care of this for me, and I meant it. Thing is, Delgada owes you too, big time. So I'm sending him over to your base to manage your own. Nice. He'll take good care of you. Thanks again, Rangers. If you ever need my help, you know where to rustle me up. Nice. Very good. Oh, fantastic, inappropriate Murphy. Almost done uh, with awareness. Yeah, we're just going to go with sniper rifles. And the draw ability. That is good. I like it. Fantastic. So next up, Quan, <laughs> the guy who wears the dildo helmet. Quan slowly but surely gets his mechanics up. Still has two points left over. Uh, we're just gonna let him do nerd stuff for now. And Lucia, let's 
give her slowly but surely more coordination. I don't think that we're going to keep her for long. Small arms upgrades is good and she could definitely benefit from that draw ability. As well from a little bit higher weird uh, weird designs. Um, lots of shotgun related shots. Charge your weapon overpowering it to deal extra damage. Weapon has a 5% chance of blowing up in your face. Well, that is a fantastically bad idea. Nah, I would like that quick draw. I think we're going to wait with her as well. Okay. Good stuff. Very good stuff. What I would want to see is usable items. I think we just got something. Oh yeah, here, decoys. Requires mechanics. Deploys a decoy that enemy will attack instead of you. Uh, I think that's too good to not take that. So that and the machine turret is actually quite good. So we definitely need one person that is going heavily into the mechanics route. Like I said, too good to not take it. We're gonna go back to our headquarter but i'll end the episode here i'm just going to check around the headquarter see what's happening and then we're going to make a plan what we're going to do next as always guys thanks for watching this was a bit more combat intense episode but it was big fun uh six episodes done only one death uh, so far i'm proud of how well this episode went thanks for watching and and have a great day oh and before i get it uh, forget it um, the like button has already uh, almost bled out. If you don't stabilize it by clicking it heavily, it will unfortunately perish. And you don't want to be responsible for a teammate's death. So go over and hit it. See you later. Bye-bye.